Hey, it's Joshua Carey here, Pet Sittingology. Thanks for stopping by to this presentation. What I'm going to go over today is what I feel are the 10 most important elements that you want on your pet sitting website. And what do I mean by important? Well, the goal of your pet sitting website is to work right you want it to work in two ways one you want it to work by landing in the search engines when a potential client is searching for your service and two equally as if not more important you want your visitor to take action once they are on your website and get in touch because as you know if they visit your website from clicking through from Google and never make it past your home page or never read your content and never wind up getting in touch it's really a lost cause so what I'm gonna go over today are the 10 ways the 10 elements that you could enhance the chances that once a pet owner arrives on your site she will take action and get in touch with you simply because she likes what she sees she thinks that you may be the best for the job and you've established your trust credibility and expertise now how did I arrive at this well I've been designing websites for small businesses for over 12 years now and over that time I've learned what Google wants and again more importantly what users want it's a very fine line to design websites for Google and to design for your potential clients so my pet sitting business Alicia's animals happens to do very well in both categories it ranks well and it converts the majority of the website visitors into leads we get a lot of phone calls and we get a lot of emails on a daily basis and I can only credit that to my website and as you'll see it's really no accident there are a lot of things you could put in place that will enhance the possibility of your visitor making contact alright so let's get started with the first element that I call the scrolling slideshow and as you see here I have four little slides titled what we do and how we do it this is the logic behind the scrolling slideshow whenever any visitor heads over to your site she is coming to your site with certain questions in mind whether they are do you offer the service I'm looking for do you service my area how much do you charge how much notice do you need do you give injections how does this whole process work what if you have an emergency or are sick the day of what kind of backup plan do you have are you bonded and insured etc so there are a hundred questions going through your visitors minds that you need to answer and the more you answer their questions the more likely they are to get in touch so the purpose of the scrolling slideshow is to present a well formatted area that just gives them a general overview of a few key things now I'm not going to tell you what needs to be within this scrolling slideshow you have a variety of options in my example I put four slides of how the process works the bottom line is that what it does is it's going to put your best foot forward by allowing you to highlight a few of the most important benefits that your visitors will appreciate. Whether it showcases an award you've won, a testimonial you've received, or answers a question, the scrolling slideshow makes a powerful impact. Now get this, studies do show that you have about three to five seconds to capture your visitors attention before they hit that back button and look elsewhere right now the scrolling slideshow is a good technique to quickly engage your visitor and remember this an engaged visitor is more likely to stick around and get in touch with you and that is the goal now we'll move on to the second most important element is what I call the quick bullet list now just like your scrolling slideshow your quick bullet list is designed to create a very easy to read a very easy to digest a scannable website right 
You don't want very long paragraphs. You don't want information overload that people can't just quickly scan to get an idea of what your website is about. We all do it. No matter what we're doing, no matter what site we're on, we don't read every single word on the page and neither will your users. So the more that you can just give them little chunks, little headlines, little bullet points, the better off you'll be. And that's why this quick bullet list is up top so they can see. Uh, I chose the headline, why choose us you ask? I feel that that is a good question to pose right up front. I'm now going to point out three reasons that they should go with us. I have private in-home boarding, customized service, and fully bonded and insured. You, of course, could choose to highlight any three things that you just want to get your point across quickly with. So again, the quick bullet list is designed to further engage your visitor. I hope you're seeing a theme here, right? We want the visitor to read our content, consume our content, look through our content, and by displaying an easy to read and understand piece of information, this helps that along. So what you can do in your case is, if you want, go ahead and steal my headline, why choose us, you ask, and highlight three great reasons that you stand out from your competition. Now we're going to move on to number three, which I call social accountability. Now, let's back up a minute and realize what is one of the main goals with your website. It's simply establishing trust, right, with the pet owner. First and foremost, she needs to know that she can trust you, trust you to do the job, trust you in her home, trust you with her property, trust that you will know what to do in case of any emergency, right? So there needs to be a huge trust established. And by simply displaying your social icons, this means that you are part of and responsible to a community or group, right? It doesn't isolate you. It puts you in the context of others and in a community. And we're more apt to trust a person, a site, or a business that is actively involved in a reputable social community, right? So when a visitor to your site sees that you are part of this bigger community, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, it puts them at ease knowing that you are not operating in this isolated bubble, but rather in a responsible manner. And again, this helps establish trust by immediately creating accountability. This is something every visitor of yours will appreciate. So just by highlighting the fact that you are on these social networks will put even just a little bit of relief into the mind of your potential client. And that's what we want. And here we are moving along to number four, which I call bold headlines. Now, remember what I said early on that the goal is one of the goals is to have your user consume your content you want them to read you want them to be able to scan your content and you want them to be able to understand what you're offering and how you offer it now bold headlines is one way one great way that you make your page readable scannable easy to digest and if you look at the page you'll see that even if you didn't read the words on the page, you could sort of get an idea just by looking at the bold headlines, looking at the words that I choose to bold, looking at my bullet point list down below, looking at the graphics over here. So you really want to separate your paragraphs with nice bold headlines that allow your user to see what your content is about. See, really, the kiss of death for many websites is long, often difficult to read paragraphs of text. And as much as we want to, nobody reads all the text on the page. And having bold headlines that break up short two to three sentence paragraphs give your users the chance to digest your page content very easily. You want to make your visitors happy by creating a page that is scannable and easy to understand. 
And when a visitor understands what you are saying, they are more likely to get in touch and become a client. So go back through your own text and make sure that you don't have long paragraphs. Two to three sentence paragraphs are fine, are recommended. And every few paragraphs create a nice big headline of what the next chunk is about. Also, don't be afraid to bold certain words or certain phrases in each paragraph to make them really stand out. Now we move on to number five, which happens to be one of my favorite tips. One of the tips that I give out most often and really one that I hear feedback on all the time makes the world of difference. And it's simply adding a contact form to the side of every single page. Now, more commonly, what you're gonna see is a contact button at the top, and when they click on it, they might see a form, they might see an email address, they might see a phone number, what have you. But what you wanna do is add a contact form to the side of every single page. Why? Well. One of the most important things to consider when building your website is the action you want every visitor to take before leaving your site. In our case, we want every single visitor to get in touch via that contact form. So it makes sense to place a prominent form on the right side of every page to make it so simple for that to occur. Make it so easy, so simple for your users to do exactly what you want them to do. If you want them to get in touch, put a contact form. If you want them to call you up, make sure your phone number is prominently displaced every place you can, on the top, on the bottom, in the middle. So why is it so important to have this contact form? Well, when a visitor is ready to get in touch, after looking through your pages, and she has a complete understanding of who you are, what you do, how you do it, why you do it, the last thing you want to do is send them searching for the best way to make contact. Your job is to guide them through every step of their experience, and an obvious contact form easily accomplishes this. Now, the last thing I will say about the contact form is, you want to be careful how much information you ask them for. I say ask them for the bare minimum. You notice I don't think the bare minimum is what is your dog's name, how much does your dog weigh. If you personally do not take, let's say, large dogs and you need the information for that reason, fine. But I've seen websites that ask the dog's weight, the dog's name, the dog's breed, the dog's birthday. I mean, not really necessary during the first point of contact when the user just might have a question that has nothing to do with the dog. So ask for the bare minimum and you'll be in much better shape getting more submissions through your contact form. Now we move on to number six which is gift certificate availability. Let me ask you a question. How many pet sitting websites have you been to where you see a gift certificate available? I would say not many. And I would say if you put this on your website, whether you realize it or not, it will have a positive impact in a variety of ways. Let me explain. Truth be told, the main idea behind making gift certificates available to your visitors is not necessarily to sell as many as possible. Although, of course, that does have its own rewarding benefits, right? So the first reason I like to promote this benefit of gift certificate availability is more psychological. See, when a business makes gift certificates available to its users, it looks impressive, it looks professional. It really says something about the business and the business owner, consciously or subconsciously. And again, let's not forget, it would also help increase your sales and cash flow. So it really is a win-win. And if you're thinking, well, if I'm just gonna put it on my website for, for psychological reasons, what if somebody wants to take me up on it and 
buy a gift certificate. Well, really, that's wonderful. All gift certificates are doing is allowing you to pre-sell a chunk of your service, let's say in a $50 or $100 prepaid purchase, right? So by making them available, you're simply pre-selling your services in a bulk package, whether it's in the form of dollars, 50 or $100, or five or 10 dog walks, you get the money up front while locking in the client. So it's a win-win on every level. And believe it or not, when people buy gift certificates, and now I'm talking about anywhere, there have been surveys and reports during the big holiday seasons from all the major retailers you know they offer gift cards that's pretty standard right why do you think they do that besides the obvious getting the money up front it also there's a staggering statistic out there that the vast majority of gift card holders either a never even redeem their gift card or b never redeem the full value of their gift card, or C, not only redeem the full value of their gift card, but wind up spending more. So A, B, and C, those are all huge wins, huge benefits to the business. You get money up front, you get more money, and they will spend more money with you. So whether you use a graphic or not, somewhere on the sidebar of your site, make it known that gift certificates are available and see what happens. All right, now number seven, we have easy to read service area. Just like I mentioned earlier, your visitors come to your site with questions in mind that they want answered and they want to be able to scan your site for the answers without having to read every single word and lists are of course a great way to give them what they want now yes the the, the majority of pet sitting websites I've seen do have uh, a list of what areas they serve now your service area is perhaps one of the most important questions your visitor needs to know right while it's obvious to list your areas in either zip code format or neighborhood format I love making it clear that the list is merely a partial list and not all-inclusive even if it is on paper my entire service area why do you think I would make it a point to say this is a partial list and why do I suggest you do the exact same? For a few reasons. One, because you and your visitor may call a certain area something different. And if she doesn't see the same name on your list, she'll leave, right? Also, more importantly and more to the point, perhaps the job this visitor wants to call about is just right outside your service area and she doesn't see her name on that list, she's going to leave, right? She's going to think you don't service the area and leave. Now, if she doesn't see her area on your list and she sees that this is just a partial list or if you don't see your specific area listed, please give us a call then she'll give you a call, she'll let you know where her area is, and you very well may decide to take the job. So instead of limiting yourself right out of the gate and say, this is our service area, these are the places we service and no more, you're limiting yourself. Why? Again, maybe it's a slow part of the season and you're willing to drive the extra two miles to the next town for this woman or you're willing to drive the extra distance because this is going to be a very profitable client anything is possible or maybe she's out of your service area but you know another pet sitter that you can graciously 
pass this off to. So there are a hundred reasons why you want to make it clear to your clients regarding your service area that, hey, this is just a partial list. If you don't see your name, you don't see your area, give us a call and we'll see what we can do. And worst case scenario, if she says, hey, I'm in XYZ town, you say, you know what, I am sorry, we don't happen to service that area, but I'd be happy to look around. If you don't find anybody, give me a call back, what have you. So it's all a win. So consider updating your service area to say, if you don't see your area here, give us a call. We still may be able to accommodate. Moving right along to number eight. I have testimonial from our pet sitter. Now, yes, we have a testimonials page from our clients, and yes, the vast majority of pet sitters have the same, which is great, which is recommended, but notice what I did here. On the home page, I didn't put a testimonial from our client. I put a testimonial from a pet sitter on our team. So what does that do? Well, it's fairly obvious what testimonials and reviews from your clients do to enhance your reputation and your credibility. Now, consider how it looks to have a testimonial from a pet sitter on your team posted on your site. By posting input and feedback from someone on your staff, you not only humanize the pet sitters doing the work, but you help paint the picture of the entire business. So, if you are working with ICs or employees, consider getting a few testimonials from them saying how much they love their job, how much they love the work they do. Now, if you don't have pet sitters on your team and you're working solo, all is not lost. Perhaps you can get a little testimonial from a pet sitter in your network if you belong to a local networking group. Maybe somebody wants to say how they feel so comfortable referring to you and that they've had great experience from clients who they couldn't serve by referring to you. So really think about how you can get fellow pet sitters in the industry to vouch for you and think about how powerful that will look to your potential clients too. Now, number nine has to be my most favorite most recommended element to add to your pet sitting website. It's one that I talk about all the time. It's one that I tell most pet sitting websites that I look at that they should add. And it's this, a direct call to action. Now, what is a call to action? A call to action is a direct line, a direct request telling your visitor what they should and need to do next. So in most cases in our situation, the direct call to action is going to be along the lines of getting in touch with us. So if I was to add only one of these 10 elements that I'm going through to my website, it would certainly be the call to action. Your job as the website owner is to guide the visitor through their entire experience on your website and posting a direct call to action such as call us now or get in touch today walks your visitor down the exact path you want them to go so your website's main function right is to turn visitors into leads and to turn those leads into new happy lifelong clients so without guiding your visitor to take the proper steps your website merely becomes an information brochure. So placing a call to action greatly increases the chances that your visitors will make contact with you. So looking at my specific call to action on the site, I say have more questions, ready to reserve, contact us today. That's the direct call to action. And again, you can steal that phrase, you can copy those words, do what you want to do. And most importantly, you want to place the call to action. And if you've heard me speak, you've heard me speak these words before. You want to place the call to action at the bottom of every page where the content ends. 
So in other words, as soon as they're done reading whatever content you have on every single page, make the very next line your big, bold, direct call to action. Just as important, make sure you link it to the contact page or the contact form. Or if you want them to call you, you should write, have more questions ready to reserve, call us today at 212-555-1234, right? Make sure to put your phone number in the call to action if you want them to call. Or again, link to your contact form or your contact page if you want them to make contact. So trust me on this one, place a big, bold, direct call to action at the bottom of every page and you will see an increase in leads. Now, I keep saying big, bold, direct call to action. I've seen calls to action on some pet sitting websites where it almost gets lost. It almost looks like another piece of content that my eyes are just going to glaze over. No, make it bold. Make it much bigger. It has to stand out. Make it a different color. Put an eye-catching graphic next to it. It needs to stand out to be effective. And do it and watch what happens. And now we will finish up with number 10 on the list, which is relevant logos. Now, yes, I've seen many pet sitting websites which display relevant logos. And I've seen some that don't, and I've seen some that don't display them consistently, for example. Uh, I do recommend displaying them in the footer at the bottom of every page, and I reiterate that, every page. Uh, I've seen websites that have a bunch of great logos at the bottom of the home page, and then from there, once you start looking into the website pages, you never see them again. Now, why is it so important to keep something as simple, or seemingly as simple as this, consistent across your pages? Well, for one, I think we all understand the benefit of displaying some logos, whether they're your affiliations, your associations, your certifications, your training, your education, your networking groups, whatever. We know that your users are going to enjoy seeing this. It's going to instill a little bit more credibility, a little more trust. But again, why is it so important to make sure that these logos are consistent throughout every page. Well, you have to realize that while your home page may very well be your most popular page, that is by no means the page that your visitors are always going to arrive at. In other words, Google indexes into their search results every single page of your website, not just your home page. So every page of your website has the ability to show up in the search results for chosen keywords. So if one of my potential clients is searching for dog walking in New York, maybe Google is going to place higher in the search results my specific dog walking in New York page and not my home page. So what would happen if I only had certain elements, including my footer logos on the home page? They'd obviously be missed and they'd never get seen. Besides that, you want to create a consistent user experience obviously for your users and also for Google. When your user has a great experience on your site, Google takes note as well and rewards you by placing your pages higher in the search engines for certain keywords. So you want to make sure that your, your template, your layout, your site structure is consistent throughout all your pages. You want the header where your logo is, perhaps a tagline or a phone number, to be the same, the same font, the same color, the same look, the same feel. You want your menu navigation bar to be identical throughout all pages. You don't want it to move around. You don't want some menu items to be present on certain pages but not on others. You want your social icons across every page, etc. You get the point. You desperately want every piece to be consistent 
throughout all your pages and the main content is what changes and you'll have much happier visitors. Well there you have it, the 10 elements that have been responsible for the success of my pet sitting business over the years. Now if you can add any or all of these yourself please do but I do have something very special for those of you that that don't have the skills, the tools, or even the time to do all this yourself. And it's something that Laura Roeder and I have been working on for the better part of a year, really, to perfect and to bring to pet sitters. Because, you know, working on pet sitting websites is really one of my passions. If you look through all my writings, all my posts, all my videos, the majority of it is about focusing on your website to bring in the majority of your business. So what Laura and I spoke about over a year ago was how could we bring all of these elements to pet sitters in a very easy way that they could control themselves. And the easy answer was via WordPress. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of WordPress. Whether you've used it or not, I think you're in for a big treat. Check this out. I was able to create a solid template based on the exact 10 elements that I just went over with you today in a WordPress powered website that we are offering pet sitters. What does this mean? Well, if you sign up today, you're going to receive a fully functioning working website with all of the elements already in place that I went over today. Let me explain to you what I mean. This is a WordPress powered website. Now whether you know WordPress or not, it's designed for you, the site owner, to control yourself. If you know how to create a Microsoft Word document, believe me, you could use WordPress. And if you haven't yet heard, ask around. You'll know that Google loves WordPress, you will love WordPress, and your clients will love your WordPress powered website. So this is literally what we give you out of the box. We give you a site where all you have to do is add your own content. You could add, edit, delete as you wish, but at the very least, you simply add your own content to this website and you are good to go. It not only comes with everything I've spoken about here, but we also give you eight pages that you can just fill content with. And again, you can add more pages, you could delete pages, you can change the names of the pages, whatever you want. But here, we have a scrolling slideshow that you can use. We have content where you just replace it with yours and you see easy to read, big bold headlines. We have the contact form built right in on the side. We have rotating reviews and testimonials over here. We have your social network icons that you can add or delete as you wish. We have a little photo gallery that you can place here. You can add your Facebook box over here, etc. Oh, and of course your logos on the bottom. Once you start looking at the different pages, you'll see that each of them have their own built-in call to action. And through your WordPress dashboard, you could change this to read whatever you want. And when they click on it, it takes them right to the contact form here. So I will add a link to the bottom of this video if you want to sign up, if you want to look through this exact sample site, because this is the exact site you receive when you sign up. So regardless of if you sign up for this or not, I just wanted to give you the opportunity to make things easier for you to add these 10 elements. So again, review the 10 elements. Let me know which you find helpful. Let me know if you have any other comments, questions, or concerns. Please leave your feedback below. Share this video with your network. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. I don't know. Share it wherever you're sharing it today, and we'll keep the conversation going. I really do appreciate you spending time with me today and for being a part of our community. I will talk to you soon. Thanks.